Hello everybody! Today Smart PLS released a new version. Version 4.1.03. And this version has moderation. So, if you want to moderate a relationship in a covariance based SEM, you go to Connect, and you literally just draw an arrow from the latent factor, from the moderating variable, to the path you want to moderate. So, let's see. Let's do something that makes sense. I think that there is a positive effect between efficacy, that is how confident you are using software, and skill acquisition. But I think that effect is moderated, probably strengthened, by how easy that software is to use. So if I drag a line from ease of use to this line, it will jump to the center and estimate a moderated effect, an interaction between efficacy and ease of use. Let's go ahead and run this with the basic algorithm using the defaults. And one thing you'll notice is that in the CBSEM side, at least in this first release of moderation, there isn't much of an update going on. Whereas before we would see all the little status updates as it runs. Uh, in this we don't. Ah, good, we got an error. So this couldn't converge. There's something wrong. Let me hit close. Let me see if there are any obvious issues. I don't see any obvious issues. This should have converged. Now this is a fairly complex model, so that might be part of the issue. I can try to run a simpler moderation. Let me go ahead and delete this. And let's connect ease of use to this line right here. So now we're saying that the more confident you are with software, the more you're likely you are to play with it. And uh, that is strengthened by how easy it is to use. If it's easy to use, you're going to be even more likely to play with it. At least that's my guess. Okay, let's try to run that. Didn't like that either. All right, let's try to simplify this model. I'm not actually going to change this right here. I'm just going to reduce the complexity of this model and see if that's having an issue. All right, we now have a very simple model. Let me move this around, make it a little easier to read. Pull that over here. And very basic moderation going on here. Go ahead and run this. And that did run. So it is a matter of complexity right now. Now I'm sure this will get easier, get better. But once that calculates, it produces your report. You can see the effect. And over here, you can see in the path coefficients, standardized. Here's that effect again. Unstandardized. Here's the p-value. Looks like there is no significant effect here. And if we go to the simple slope analysis, you can see there's really not much going on here. It's all positive. Uh, efficacy has a positive effect on playfulness, a modest one, and that is not really moderated by ease of use. Let's go back and try one that maybe will make a difference. I'm just going to return this model to where it was, and I'm going to delete these guys back here and correlate these two and draw a moderation here. So this says that uh, enjoyment has a positive effect on skill acquisition. Playfulness has, I would assume, a positive effect on skill acquisition. Um, and that effect is strengthened when you're enjoying it while you're playing with it. Run that. Doesn't run, doesn't like that. To test whether this is an issue of model complexity, I'm just going to reduce the size of my latent factors. All right, we're now down to four items per latent factor. And that is pretty standard. Let's try to run this. It ran just fine. So it does seem to be a matter of model complexity. So there is a way around this. Let's take a look in just a moment. First, we can see that effect. We can go over to the simple slope analysis, see that there is a tremendous effect here. It looks like the blue line, uh, there is a negative effect between playfulness and skill acquisition. We can see that over here in the path coefficients. Here is playfulness to skill acquisition, negative significant effect, and that interaction is also significant. We can go back to the simple slope analysis and see negative effect on average, but when you are enjoying your playing with the software, that effect flips to become positive. And when you're not enjoying it, you have a very strong negative effect. That's interesting. 
Now, what we can do, let me go back to the model we had. Here we go. Here's the model we had. Very complex, wasn't running anything. And what we can do is we can actually save factor scores and create a new model that's much simpler. So let's go ahead and save those factor scores. We're going to run the basic algorithm. There's no interaction going on right now. It runs just fine. But there's a new feature called create data file. I'm going to create that data file. I'm going to keep the Bartlett scores for all of the latent factors. And I don't actually want the manifest variable scores in this data set. I just want the factor scores. So create. A new data set has been created. I'm going to go back and save this. Go back. Create a new CBSEM model. Call this CBSEM interaction create. And in here, I'm going to use the new data set called uh, Bootcamp Original derived from CBSEM results. That's the one with the factor scores in there. And I will pull these out and move them around to where they matched before. And I'm just going to select all of them and hide their indicators and connect them as we had before. There we go. And now let me add that interaction. Let's connect from ease of use to this line right here, which it lined up right there. Let me move this out of the way so we can see it. There it is. And let's run this. This is now a much simpler model. You can see it ran immediately. We can see the effect, no effect, which we uh, discovered before, I believe. Let's do a different interaction. Let's do from efficacy to this line right here. And let's make this a little more complicated and throw in that one we know is significant and run both of those at the same time. Run super fast. We get both of those estimates. Go over to the simple slope analysis. There's the first one, very strong. There's the second one, not so strong. So there you have it. You can do interaction in the CBSEM side of Smart PLS. Though, if you have a very complex model with lots of manifest variables, you may want to create factor scores first and then run that interaction in a path model like this. Hope that helps. Sorry, that was a little bit complex. Most likely, new releases of Smart PLS will create efficiencies in that algorithm so that we can do latent interactions with ease.